Prince Harry and Prince Andrew faced royal embarrassment with Remembrance Wreath Row. Welcome to Royal Hour, please subscribe to stay updated with all latest updates from the UK royal family. Prince Harry and Prince Andrew last appeared at the Cenotaph on Remembrance Sunday in 2019, before they stepped back from royal life. On Remembrance Sunday today, the royal family will gather at the Cenotaph in central London to pay their respects to those who gave their lives for their country. Traditionally, the wreaths are laid by senior royals, but those previously placed by disgraced family members Prince Harry and Prince Andrew were removed by the factory that produces them last year. On Remembrance Sunday today, the royal family will gather at the Cenotaph in central London to pay their respects to those who gave their lives for their country. Traditionally, the wreaths are laid by senior royals, but those previously placed by disgraced family members Prince Harry and Prince Andrew were removed by the factory that produces them last year. The Poppy Factory was founded 100 years ago, with various wreaths placed by the company to display to visitors, but those placed by Harry and his uncle Andrew are no longer available. As of last year, the wreaths have been removed, even though the couple served in the army, Harry in Afghanistan and Andrew in the Falklands War with the Royal Navy. A source at the site in Richmond, southwest London, told the Mirror, Harry used to have his wreath displayed in the old display area of the centre, but it is no longer. We got rid of it, and kept all the duplicates, too. Wreaths from senior members of the company, such as King Charles, the late Queen Elizabeth, Prince Philip, Princess Anne and Princes William and Edward, are still on display at the factory. The Poppy Factory and Buckingham Palace declined to comment on what happened to Harry's £1,000 wreath, as a new wreath will be created for the family to place this year. Neither the Duke of Sussex nor the Duke of York will attend Remembrance Day Mass today, as they are no longer working royals and Harry lives in the United States. As a military veteran, he is expected to mark the occasion in some way at his home in California with his wife, Meghan Markle, and their two children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Earlier this week, Harry appeared in a comedic video message, which was shown at the Stand Up for Heroes event in New York. The Sussexes have not been in contact with the company for some time, with their spokesperson confirming that they have not received an invitation to King Charles' 75th birthday next week. They said, there has been no contact regarding an invitation to attend His Majesty's upcoming birthday. It is disappointing that the Sunday Times has misreported this story. An insider close to the Duke and Duchess added, they received no invitation and were not aware of any celebrations until the stories emerged. I am sure the Duke will find a way to reach out privately to wish His Majesty a happy birthday as he always does. Thank you for watching this video, be sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications when I upload a new video.